Now, hi friends. In this particular part, I'm going to uh, showcase to you what are the uh, various ways in which you can assess a particular uh, paper or the article, the book, the website, or the various categories, the videos, whatever you are reviewing or you're maintaining it under the literature review. Now, here we see that uh, the qualifications of the writer or the author, I would say. Now, they're uh, the one who is publishing. That's what uh, it means, actually. Actually, what are the author's credentials to make the judgments? So you need to make it up whether he's an expert or non-expert and how much of um, experience the person has got with that particular topic. Now, those are the ones I'm looking for out here. And there is a knack in which you can even proceed further. Neutrality, whether the perspectives are biased or not. This is something that, again, you will have to make a note. Then credibility, convincing authors and the reason. Now, credibility here means that once you see that particular uh, paper, for example, if you're reading and you understand that, yes, there is some kind of a credibility that can be authorized or uh, given on behalf of the author please do it in your uh, review, uh, literature review logbook then worth whether uh, the uh, you are going to give any kind of a value uh, to that particular paper or to your own research work is also something that you're going to mention it so here the question would be is there any value of the work and conclusions or not with respect to your research so you're going to make a column so it just will be a separate page with um, qualifications neutrality credibility and and worth of a person now there are certain necessary transitions also when you are taking care of literature review what are they the ideas that you have got now, how you are going to incorporate them in your own work then the second one is analysis the third one would be the synthesis then the assessments after analysis and synthesis what kind of an assessment you're going to do for the same literature review and here one should remember that I'm not going to summarize what the author has said no the summarization you're not doing any uh, review work that yes you need to summarize so remember that this is a literature review meant either for your thesis submission or for writing the uh, article for the publication so these are the two points that I wanted to discuss in this particular video and let's go further and understand more about the literature review till then thanks bye jungle.